Now with self-control, we follow directions at home and school. We keep our hands to our self. With self-control, we also, bullies aren't proud of who? Raise your hand if you can tell me. Bullies aren't proud of who? Exactly. So if someone bullies you, do you do it back to them or do you walk the other way? What should you do? Raise your hand. Raise your hand using your self-control. What should you do? Walk away. Yeah, because it takes two people to fight. And if you walk away from a bully, they have no one to fight with but who? Raise your hand if you can tell me, please. They have no one to fight with but, but themselves. So they're going to learn they have to change their ways. Although you're tempted to break the bubbles, the bubbles could be like a bully, but you're not going to break them. You're going to ignore them like walking the other way, and you're going to use your self-control, using your self-control. So don't look at me. Don't look at the bubbles. Just look over there. And if the bubbles go on your face, let them go by. Okay, so not looking at me. Just look straight ahead. Don't look at the bubbles or anything like that. Don't, let, don't touch them, even if they go near you. Don't look at the bubbles. Look straight ahead. Don't look at the bubbles. Well, lesson one is really, as opposed to a program, it's really cultural development. Okay, the nature is teaching these skills like academics. I've been working on this for 38 years. Um, it's evolved. It's an evidence-based program that was uh, approved by Washington in terms of mental health. The idea is everyone around the country is saying, like, look what happened in Nevada, Sandy Hook, and around the country, see everything every day. And every, everyone says, what do we do? Well, I've been working on this as a mission for 38 years. And now you're seeing, like in this school and schools around the country, the results of that. We're teaching skills like self-control, like the alphabet numbers. We're integrating it into the regular classroom. Kids are learning how to get rid of stress to calm down. And the nature of this is to catch the kids early. You know, we're spending about, what, $50,000, $55,000 on people in prison, and now we're giving the kids these skills young, so then they know how to deal with things, so they don't get out of control. They feel part of a group, and they can internalize these, and that they could be successful in and out of school. Without giving kids skills, we're burying them alive. They, they, they're following the culture, and they don't know what to do and what not to do. But here we can combine the academics and the social skills so they, they can achieve both successfully. Well, lesson one has impacted me since the year we, start, we started doing it last year. And it impacted that class immensely. But this year, starting the year off with lesson one, the proud and relaxed, the self-control time, family time, has been amazing. My classroom management is just better. The kids are more self-controlled. They're more um, self-initiated. They're more independent. When it comes to using these techniques, they do it. I've had kids say they practice at home. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it's just amazing the impact on these kids in the classroom and outside is amazing.